Hey guys, uh, this is the mission Mother's Day. Um, it'll help you with doing Gazi's, the mission where you find Gazi's house and uh, get some anti-seizure medicine. There's one part that's kind of tricky, and uh, this is kind of a little extra part that will show you how to do it easier. Um, if you look in the comments section and you're looking just how to get into Gazi's house, you can go ahead and skip to the uh, segment time in the uh, description below I'll tell you what time you need to skip to in the video to find that particular part so yeah here we go first thing we gotta do is find his house so oh well look there's a little side mission let me help this guy out Die, you bastard. Okay, cool. So, yep, that was a little nice little extra bonus point we got there. Anyways, as we were, as I was saying, well, if I can ever do some nice parkour, I can get places. I need some better weapons, though. I'm just started this game myself. This is my. uh this is my strictly YouTube recording career or story mode. So my other story mode has all kinds of shit, but this one is uh, kind of has nothing right now. All I got is like one pipe, and that's it. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll get there soon enough. Right now I'm just running to Gazi's house. Should be pretty easy to find. Um, I'm guessing he's located in the same house as he was last time I did this mission, so can't be too difficult. Um, all you gotta do is run through all the run through all these streets. Right here is a bit annoying because it's a dark tunnel and all that nonsense. Um, sometimes there's one of those big zombies with the hammer. I don't know the technical game terminology for them, whatever the hell they're called by the um, makers of the game. So yeah. But yeah, just jump over this bus. Sometimes he's located right there, or on the other side of the... Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Nice little, uh, loot area back here. Which I did not find before. Anyway, um, time to go on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. God damn it. Before I get trapped in there, it's a good idea to run. <laughs> anyway, but after you get through this tunnel, just run up through here, this little open area. Then you can jump this fence, and here's Gazi's house behind here. Alright, um, so whenever you get closer, it'll split into three different dots. Uh, the, his house is not the first two. It's the one on the back, which looks like this building. It's the tallest one because, unfortunately, you have to get him two things. But after you get him the shit, I'll just pause it for the video. So you better make mama happy. Gazi. Me too. We have the same name. Are you from... In the video store? No, my name's Crane. Crane? Crane rhymes with train and brain and sane and grain and rain and plane and the other kind of plane and and but can I come in? No. No. It's impossible. Impossible. This is my special day with mom. It's Mother's Day. And it's the most important day of the whole world. Are you from the video store? Why do you keep asking me that? Uh, because you're supposed to bring my movie about me. It's called Charlie. And it's all about me. And how smart I am. Look, Gazi, if I bring you your movie, will you let me come in? Sure. Then you could watch with us. It is Mother's Day. And if Mama ain't happy, nobody happy. Oh, and, and she also wants chocolate. Mama wants chocolate. No, 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 wait a minute. That's too much. Don't argue with Gazi. It doesn't work. That... That's what the drugstore people say. 
So as you can see, he's not going to help us until we get him chocolate and his video. But um, of course, this is a useless waste of time because even after that, he's just going to kind of close the door in your face and you have to go in through a different entrance, which I will also show you later. But for now, I'm going to go show you how to get this chocolate and um, the movie might speed along your process a little bit. Don't know. Hopefully it'll help. I'm guessing you can go through the bus, but I just like to climb over it because it seems like it'd be faster. But, uh, yeah. First things first. Damn it. No, let me, uh, skip this for a second and go activate this safe house. Just in case I need it. Pause. Damn it. Fuck. Fuck off. Alright. Damn it, get the hell out of here. Why do they keep coming in? Bastards. Close this door. Alright. The safe house is now well secured. But now I have to turn on the lights. So it doesn't take too long to activate these safe houses. It's kind of a good little thing to have in case you're in some trouble. Like if you get caught out at night and there's a one of those big ass hunters chasing you. Uh, well, now you're saved. Oh, I can turn my flashlight off now. <laughs> oh yeah. Run. Don't want to fight these fuckers. Unless you have some good durable weapons, it's kind of pointless to fight the bastards because then you're just going to uh, use up all your pipes and things. So if you have extra pipes, it's good, but um, right now, not so much. Anyways, so as soon as you open this door, I believe it's when you open it, um, it sets off an alarm. Or when you close it, one of the two. All I know is the alarm went off. So. Gotcha. Okay, so here's the videotape. There's the alarm off. There's nothing else in here, so you can just run out the back door. That way all the zombies that are at the front door won't bug the shit out of you as you're trying to escape stealthily into the night. Hmm. In here? No. Alright, now on to the next thing to get the chocolate. This one's actually a little bit easier, sort of, somewhat, but uh, the only problem with this one is uh, they're kind of zombies all over it. Other than that, it's uh, not too bad. Find out who is still all right. So oh, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you hear a voice that sounded like a person. So you go in. I think that's just the zombie that runs really fast. I'm not too sure. Sometimes I guess he may know where I'm at. PVC with reinforced double layer. Yep, he knows where I'm There we go. Come up here, bastard. Let him help. Let him help you. Yeah, there you go. Y'all fight each other. Come on up here. Okay, cool. So now I get to search his ass. But, anyways, uh, as I was saying, there's a bunch of zombies down there. I do not have any firecrackers, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna have to use these. Well, 
Last time what I did is I just lured them away over here. Am I getting them to see me? And then quickly going into the building. Because what you gotta do is uh, that you gotta open that garage door over there. So it's kind of annoying if you got zombies on you. But, uh,. Once you get them off, it's okay. Because uh, they don't they don't usually come in after you. Uh, if you get enough of them away. Then you have some free time to search all this. And loot all the coffee and everything for the valuables. Box of chocolates. And go ahead and check the refrigerator for all the household supplies. All the more coffee to sell to the guys for some dough. You can buy other stuff with that. I have a nice... Uh, Nice hammer I got that I bought for, I believe it was fifteen hundred coin, uh, fifteen hundred dollars in game currency. And you just open this door. Last time I did this, it was a bit more annoying because uh, it took me forever to get those zombies away because I didn't know I wasn't really sure how to do it, and then I finally just got the courage up to guess I could say quote unquote to uh, lure them away get over my fear of having them chasing me <laughs> but anyway um, also on a side note this little mechanic shop has some nice little stuff you can pick lock or lock pick I don't really want to do that right now I'll come back and do that later as you can see it's a hard lock pick but uh, it's actually pretty easy lock picking is not really hard to begin with the lock picking is strangely like Assassin's Creed, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Because this is, I don't think this is a Ubisoft game. Doesn't even really have that Ubisoft feel, so, because it's first person and all that good stuff. But the lock picking is strangely similar. So, yeah, then you just run back over here. Do all this good stuff. Climb into the little side area. Um, I believe his house can also be used as a safe house after this after this mission's over. Um, like maybe if you run in with the if you got a hunter chasing you and you run in there, you can go in through his roof. Right. But also like I like just let myself in through the roof. Like I said. Uh, it is kind of different. Okay. Let me continue what I'll say in a minute. Okay, so after you're at his door and you get both of the chocolate and video game to him, just do a complete turn and you'll be looking at the bridge and this greenhouse. Just run straight over this way and you'll uh, see a cliff that looks like some steps, sort of. Just climb up there. Keep climbing up. Keep climbing up. Also, if you have the plant perk, purchased already. There are two uh, two nice little plants right over here. Toxic li toxic lichen right there and right here. But anyways, so then you just climb up on this rock all the way up here. Okay, so there are two ways to get across. You can either do this nice little jump and grab all the way across. I usually do that on the first one, but after the first one, it's kind of difficult. So, uh, but anyways, uh, so yeah, this leap right here, <clears throat> when I first did this mission, I was being sort of a dumbass, and I kept trying to jump across it. Like, I literally tried to jump across it probably ten times before I tried to find another way. And so I was looking all around uh, this entire area, and I noticed that there was a pipe right here right across this gap see the pipe you can jump up it's also on the first jump as well but you can jump up 
and just shimmy right across this pipe. It is a hell of a lot easier than trying to make that jump. Uh, I honestly don't even know if the jump is possible unless you really time it perfectly. But you definitely can get across these pipes a lot easier. That's for damn sure. Then you just climb up here at the end of the pipe, jump back down this way, come across this little area, and you can jump straight onto Gauzy's roof. Oh, got a little damage on that one. Usually I don't get damaged. Last time I didn't get damaged, but anyway. And there's a nice little lock pick up here. Yep, there it is. So yeah, there's a nice little lock pick you can open up. There's a pipe in here, I believe. Nope. Cigarettes. No pipe, just cigarettes. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. Then you open this little trap door, this way. And don't worry, uh, even though you're breaking into Gazi's house, as you could tell, he was a little bit off, I guess you could say. And so he's not going to hurt you or anything for breaking into his house. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. He does have a nice little bit of uh, looting you can take in his building. A couple things in the fridge. Now one thing you saw I took upstairs. Alright, and this here is a note. I haven't figured out what the notes are exactly. Because I have I guess I haven't connect collected enough of them. But then you talk to Gazi. Mama's real. Give him the shit. Alright, you already gave him the shit. But then you just ask him about the answers and things. Well okay. And he says his mom stopped having seizures when uh, her head turned into a pumpkin. That doesn't, uh, that kind of makes you for real sure that he's all over the edge of the cliff, I guess you could say. And here's his mom. Nice to meet you, mom. He, She is the world's best mom, as you can uh, see. Best mom ever. <laughs> I thought that was quite strange. But, uh, alright, so yeah, back in here. And then the tranquilizers are right there on the table. You unfortunately cannot go out his front door. Do not know why. But you have to go back upstairs and out through the roof. Unfortunately. So yeah, just run back upstairs. And jump. And you'll climb right back out. This is a safe zone, maybe, as far as I know. I don't know about hunters getting in here, but I know no zombies are in this little area. Although you do keep your weapon out, except for when you're in his house. And there's one of the inferno zombies, which are also sometimes lurking in this area. I have not gotten killed by an inferno zombie or had to tangle with one yet. Thank the Lord. But, uh... Can I already open this building? Maybe not. This one already opened this area. But anyway, so let me climb up here real quick. See what the hell this is about. If I can get up here. Side quests have been kind of interesting so far. Um, hey friend. First time I met this guy though. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he's a trader. Well, I guess I could have figured that by the dollar sign. Let me sell these valuables. Yep. Okay, so this is what I have: the claw hammer. That's what I bought on my other uh, story mode. So. So far, I found it's pretty uh, helpful. 
I don't want to pick that lock right now. I'll come back later to it. I guess you got a new friend? Maybe? Let me uh, upgrade that weapon though. I have a All right, um, back down to the floor. Okay. Now I'm gonna run back over to the tower. I'm supposed to. I don't know. Anyways, maybe he's just a sales guy. <clears throat> I'll find out if it says survivor has died on the on the roof right there. But yeah, that was kind of the mission. Uh, just do all that, and you're kind of good. That This whole video I just did kind of for that little way across the bridge. I know I had some trouble with that. It was, it was a little frustrating. I don't want to do this right now. But, uh, but yeah, that was a little frustrating, so I figured I'd see if I could help out with that video. So now you're back in this back in the tower in the safe zone again. So just run up the elevator. And that's the little elevator running right here. Yep. Should be quite fun. A little bit, sort of, not really. Yeah, I don't understand how Gaza can survive out there either. That is kind of uh cool. But yeah, it's just him by himself and no one out there to help him. Go down the stairs to the 18th floor in the little makeshift hospital. Thanks. Oh, how things go with Gazi? Well, he may be challenged, but he's very good at getting what he wants. Did you meet his mom? Yeah, she seemed happy. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Speaking of which, Brecken asked me to pass this on to you with his thanks. So yeah, you get a nice little weapon upgrade. It's a champion upgrade. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope it helped a little bit with the maybe struggles or whatever you have finding Gazi's house, or just going over that bridge in general. But anyway.